Hey guys, this is Danks87. So today we're going to be doing our animation on our sprite. These are from the sprite sheets. So if you haven't already made your sprite sheets, pop over to the other tutorial and they'll teach you how to make them there. So for this tutorial, we're going to need a AND gate, NOT gate, selector, randomizer, and speed sensor. So after the last tutorial, we had our five different sprites, one standing, three running, and one jumping. What we want to do is make each of these sprites in their input action for when they are off, make their opacity down to 0%. They need to do the same to each one of these. Then we are going to add ourselves a microchip. Now I tend to put it onto the furthest arm in the direction that it will be moving, so I put it in the furthest right hand of this one. It doesn't really matter where you put it. I'm going to make it slightly larger so we can see what we're doing, and I'm going to place another microchip inside. I'm also going to make that one slightly bigger. This microchip is going to be for its running. So we're going to get a selector, and we're going to have three ports on our selector, and we're going to place it down. Then for each of the ports, we are going to have an AND gate. So we're going to place three AND gates down. And then we are going to place each of the selector ports into one of the AND gates. And then we are going to use each AND gate for one section of our running. So the first section with the first output even, we're going to use in our first part of the animation. The second AND gate, we're going to put into the second part of our animation. And the third into the third part of our animation. Then we are going to grab our randomizer. And we are going to have our randomizer set to one on at a time and we want the on time to be 0.1 then we are going to take our flashy output from the randomizer and put it into the cycle of the selector this will cycle through the selector giving us one input at a time then we are going to another, add another AND gate on the outside of that microchip and we are going to place the output of that into the randomizer and into each port of the AND gate. So all three AND gates need the output from the AND gate on the outside. Next up we're going to grab a speed sensor. This speed sensor we want to be set to 0 0.1 in its maximum speed and left and right only. Then we are going to place that into the input of our AND gate that's on the outside of the microchip. Then we are going to get another one, almost exactly the same. So we're going to use another speed sensor set to 0.1 and left and right only. But this time we're going to invert it. So we're going to invert its output. And we are going to add another AND gate and put the speed sensor into the AND gate. And then we are going to take the output from the AND gate and put it into our standing animation. The last couple of bits we need to do is add another two AND gates. And from the top AND gate, we're going to put it into both of the AND gates above. and from the bottom AND gate into our jumping animation. Then the last bit we need to do is add in a NOT gate before our bottom AND gate and input its output 
into the AND gate. Now is the time that we're going to stick all of the animation parts together. And what I tend to do is try and stick as close as possible the head. Some people like to do the feet, but I find it, it seems a little bit jumpy. So as close as possible without moving up or down, make sure the feet are at, uh, at the same level, but keep the head roughly in the same place. Then we can stick all of that together. Then what we need to do is make a duplicate of this and then flip it. Then place. I also like to flip back the microchip. I don't like backwards logic. And then we stick both of these together. Now this tutorial is coupled with the next tutorial which will actually show you how to add movement. Without the movement, the um, animations won't work, so we need to input logic for the animations to work. So pop over to the next tutorial and carry on. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Keep tuned for more, and don't forget to subscribe.